Among storm chasers, the El Reno tornado on May 31st, 2013, will be remembered as the twister that changed everything. Everything just started spinning around, and I drove through it and, and came up here and realized pretty much everything we had was gone. It was absolute chaos when it finally touched down there in El Reno. It was a beast of a tornado, really unlike anything I'd ever seen before. Oh, horizontal! The interstate's packed with people because it was rush hour traffic. It was on a Friday. It was like a zombie apocalypse movie where everybody's trying to get out of New York. We see it growing very large very quickly. Baseballs! Baseball size hill! Get in the car! Until the El Reno tornado, not, not a single storm chaser had ever lost their life. Among the 13 people killed in the Oklahoma Twister were three men deeply involved in tornado research. Veteran chasers Tim Samaras, his son Paul, and their colleague Carl Young were swept up in their Chevy Cobalt as they attempted to outrun the Twister. Samaras, a self-taught engineer, was best known for his role in the Discovery Channel reality series Storm Chasers, and for measurements he took from within tornadoes using probes that he specially designed to withstand the forces in the high winds. Most notably, he measured the largest atmospheric drop in pressure ever recorded inside this tornado that obliterated the town of Manchester, South Dakota in 2003. These multiple vortices, these sub-vortices, like little ball bearings, were spinning around inside the main tornado. One of those is what killed Tim. I could tell it was a car, just, you know, it had one wheel left on it. Oh no, truck upside down! And it looked like somebody took it and just twisted it and wadded it up. Very strong, complex tornado killed a very experienced team. The Samaritans and Young weren't the only chasers killed that day. A local from nearby Hinton, who'd spent some time chasing with a local television channel, died just a mile to the south. His name was Richard Henderson. I knew he was driving around, but I didn't know he was chasing it. He's like my dad. If there ain't a horse, he wouldn't drive riding. A damn cowboy. Yeah. Just a damn cowboy. Yeah. My report on El Reno, tornado science, and the curious subculture of storm tourism is in the December 2013 issue of Outside Magazine.